Welcome back everyone and welcome to a new episode. This one is for all of you who have more than one computer. So if you were thinking about syncing Emacs to your, I guess, laptop and, you know, back and forth, um, if you don't have uh, any programming experience, I suppose your initial ideas could be something like OneDrive on Windows or Dropbox or Nextcloud and that could work, yes. And I was doing my research uh, around this topic and searching for basically what others uh, are using, other Emacs users. And it turns out that most of you are using Git to sync your you know, configuration. So I guess let's go down to business and see how it works. Okay, let's zoom this in a little bit. Okay. First of all, go to GitHub or wherever you are planning to keep your repository for Emacs. Click New. Give it a name. Okay, give it a description. Choose whether you want it public or private. Mm, I don't know, had a readme maybe, maybe not. Um, license. Well, um, if you're planning to share this with everyone as a public folder and maybe you want people to uh, mention your name if they share it around then I guess MIT license would do just fine and click create and voila our repository is done we have a license file in it and basically nothing else okay so now you want to go to code and just copy this and I haven't actually prepared the whole introduction into how to use GitHub and I don't think this is uh, something that should be the scope of this video. So just read the uh, GitHub uh, CLI documentation, you can see it uh, if you click on learn more. It's very easy to log in. Okay, go back here. Go to your Remax folder. Just paste it. And voila, we have cloned our new repository, but it has cloned into the test folder, okay? If you see it, it's in the uh, test folder. Actually, it's uh, I meant in Emacs folder. Okay, this is our license that we have on our new repository. So what you want to do now is move this to the uh, parent folder. Move the license to the parent folder and there is another folder that's hidden dot git. Move that one as well. Okay and now nothing remains here. You could do this uh, in a more professional way but this one is uh, the most easy way possible that I can think of for a new guy. Remove directory Emacs. You don't need that anymore. Okay, so what we did now is basically we have uh, put all our repository files uh, into our Emacs folder. Uh, and now we're going to sync it uh, back up on the, let's say cloud, on your Git repository. First of all, you want to add all the files to your next commit. That's it. And this is how you're going to uh, tell the um, repository which changes uh, are you pushing uh, next, right? 
uh, on the under the quotation mark you can put whatever you want these are now all the files uh, that are going to be committed and now just push it voila and now if you go back to the um, repository um, there we go refresh it and now we can see all your files right okay now let's go to my laptop okay booting up from sleep we may want to we may want to you know zoom this in a little bit okay that should be good okay first let's remove the emacs folder completely so we have nothing on this pc let's make it clean okay now let's clone our repository down here cloning okay now let's rename this folder to .emacs.d okay now let's enter this folder and see what we have here here we have the same structure as we have on our primary computer right so, so let's start emx now there we go emx started okay let's change the team let's do something bright no, no, no. There we go, light blue. Okay, save it. Good, now let's verify that uh, Emacs remembers uh, its new team. There we go. Exit the Emacs again. Okay, now let's push all these new changes back to GitHub. Let's call this change new team. Push it. Okay, now let's go back to our primary computer. Okay, here we are, are back on our primary PC. And we are already in Emacs folder. Just pull the changes. Okay, now let's start DMX. And voila, it's in our new team. So basically, you know, that's all. That's all there is to it. And I don't suspect you're going to do too many changes once you get the ball rolling with DMX. So I think this method is perfectly fine and more than acceptable and kind of cool. Don't you agree? I don't know. Tell me what you think in the comments below. Thank you very much.